So I'm on Instagram, I just read a DM and it says, how do you feel about getting back with your ex? In this video, I'm gonna give you three reasons why you need to ignore your ex right now. No contact rule. I am Sylvester McNutt the third best-selling author. Let's dive in. The first reason why you need to ignore your ex is because you are lonely. You are only texting them back, checking their Instagram or their Twitter or their Snapchat because you are lonely. Because you guys spent a lot of time together in recent months or recent years and you're comfortable. And you like that because we all like to be familiar and be comfortable. But the truth of the matter is this. You and your ex do not get along. You guys are not good for each other. You are toxic for him or her and that person is toxic for you. You need to leave them alone. You are lonely. Go home or go out. Go to the gym. Go travel. Go get busy. Go create a business. Go do something of value because texting your ex is not going to add value to your life. In fact, it's taking away from your life. It's been two weeks since you guys had your last argument. What are you going to do? Get back together, have sex, and then be mad at each other tomorrow because that's the cycle that you're in? Stop it. Do better. Be better. The second reason why you need to leave your ex alone is because of an extreme reason I'm about to say. They put their hands on you. They're violent. They threaten you with violence. They threatened to threaten you. Whatever it is, your ex has shown signs of narcissism, of extreme control and possessiveness. Maybe you feel like they're a true threat to your life. If it's anything of that nature, you need to leave them alone, okay? If it's healthy, you guys can communicate in a healthy way, fine. I'll give that to you. Communicate in a healthy way because that's that's a good thing. Maybe you're just on a bad term right now. But if it's not healthy, if it's an argument every day, if it's battling every day, if you're attacking each other every day, if you're putting each other down, if it's, man, fuck you, you motherfucker, if it's th to that level, stop it. Stop it. It's not even a negotiable thing. Okay? What do you want? Do you want a lover or an enemy? I'm, I can't speak for you. You have to answer that question. I don't want an enemy. I've had enemies. You can't tell me you love me and then treat me like you hate me. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm not settling for that. So we're either going to both bring each other value. We're going to both bring each other respect. We're going to both bring each other some, some harmony, some good sex and a good time. Or we want, or I'm going to get it from someone else. I'm not going to war with you. No, you're not worth my stress. No person is. Stress literally kills you. When you're stressed out, your immune system shuts down. When you're stressed out, you can't heal. Why? Would I choose to be around a person that shuts my immune system down when there are people that won't? Why would I be around someone who makes me hate myself when I could be around people who treat me like they love me and who make me feel like I love myself? I'm not calling my ex or texting my ex when that person is a completely toxic person who doesn't care about me, who only cares when I add value to their life. This is your message. Do not contact them. Do not sit by your phone waiting for them to contact you. Get off of their Instagram and their social media. Get off of it. Number three, we've already determined that your ex is a piece of shit and you're a piece of shit too because you attracted a piece of shit. Both of you have operated at pieces of shit level. It's okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to ascend. We need to raise our vibration. We need to become more enlightened. We need to become smarter. We need to become wiser. We need to get stronger. We need to get a new haircut so we can look sexier. We need to get a new wardrobe. And we need to get new nice shoes. We need to feel good about ourselves and we need to move on with our life. Because we don't deserve toxic situations. And since you just left one, why would you respond to your ex to go back into the same one that you just left? Why? You're not going to. This is all that you needed to see to ignore your ex. Until maybe some point in the future when you guys have grown in a couple of years. But as far as dating and getting back together, the no contact rule will save your life. 
Stop it. Now, I gave you three reasons to leave them alone. I'm going to give you a fourth because I know someone is going to say, well, what if you have kids together? So I'm going to answer that right now. If your ex is toxic, okay, they don't add value to your life. They're harmful to you, to your uh, well-being, but you have kids together. You need to separate that at one point you were lovers. You guys are still friends, but you're, you're not lovers anymore. You need to treat them as you would treat any other friend and not a lover. A lover gets treated differently. You will treat them with friends. You communicate with friends. You, you can call them out on their BS, so to speak. But when this is an ex, you're not doing that. The only reason you're communicating is to communicate for the well-being of your kids. So what I would do personally is I would develop a, a one stream of communication that we could agree on is going to be efficient for us, whether that's talking on the phone at 7 p.m. and that's our set time and we're going to talk then or whether it's texting, email, whatever is efficient. That's the key word here. If you have kids and you want to go no contact rule as far as dating and lovers go, but you still need to communicate as far as we have kids. Figure out the most efficient way to communicate about the kids. And now when you do communicate about the kids, you have to be a leader for your life because you want to move on. So there is no talking about your favorite show, talking about, did you see the LeBron game? D did you subscribe to Sylvester McNutt on YouTube? There's no none of those side conversations. We are only talking about the children. And that's it. I hope this video brought you value today. OK, look. We all got some crazy exes, and all of us are the crazy exes. I know I have been the crazy ex. I know I got a couple of them. Okay, cool. This is a sensitive subject for a lot of people. I want you to get in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this video. What tips are you going to take with you? If you need help moving on, letting go, you have to read my book, Care Package, A Path to Deep Healing. I have many topics on how to let go, how to move on, how to get through sadness, depression, codependency, all the tough stuff we're dealing with, man. How to stop people pleasing, how to set boundaries. Read, read Care Package. I'll put the link below for you, okay? I'm out of here, guys. I'll see you next time. Keep loving. Keep living.